Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn how to read and write Hindi. We are also here because we want to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both at the same time. Today is our lesson number 19, day 19. And today we'll continue with what we had been doing, what we have been doing for the last two days. On day number 17 and 18, we did Eki Matra, and today is part 3 or 4 of Eki Matra. Tomorrow we'll do one more lesson on Eki Matra, and that'll be the end of it. The first four, first four, did, first four days, day 1 through 4, we did Aki Matra, then we did Eki Matra for the next four days, then we did Oki Matra, and then Uki Matra, and then right now we're doing Eki Matra. So here we go. If you have not watched day number 17, which is the first video on this subject, on day number 17, we went in a great detail on this topic of Eki Matra. If you have not watched it, watch, make sure you watch it first. Here I'm going to give you a recapitulation, a recap of the basic concept of Eki Matra. Eki Matra, just like the Eki Matra and just like the Oki Matra and just like Uki Matra, comes in two flavors. Choti, choti Eki Matra and Badi Eki Matra. Choti Eki Matra makes a short A sound. Badi Eki Matra obviously makes a longer A. The Choti Eki, Choti Eki Matra takes a letter called Badi Ye. In Urdu, if the Badi, uh, the Choti Eki Matra is, goes like this. For example, if you have a letter B, let's not call, the name of the letter is B, but in this video we're not going to call them. The letters in Urdu are called B, T, T, C, T, J, uh, and so forth. Not J, it's actually Jim. But to avoid the confusion between B, letter B and the Eki Matra, because when we combine B with the Badi, with Badi A, it makes a B sound. So to avoid the confusion, I'm just going to call it B. So if you take your B and you join with it, Badi A, the Badi A, which happens to be the very last letter of the Urdu alphabet, when we combine them, it looks something like this. There is your B and there's your Badi A. And that becomes a B. In Hindi, you take your B, and you put one one of them. Don't confuse this. Don't confuse this. B, which is B and a body A, B and a body A. Don't confuse that with B. It's same symbol. Oh, see, I made a mistake here. In Oki Matra, there's a, there's a stick next to it. There's a stick next to it, and it goes like that. And that becomes a bow. That's when you, you take a B and combine it with a letter called wow. Wow. And it looks like this. Those are two different things. This is Choti Oki Matra. This is Choti Eki Matra. So that's how it goes. If you want a Badi Eki Matra, it takes a Badi just like here. It takes a Badi but in addition to that, it takes a symbol called Zabar, which goes on top of the letter. And it looks something like this. There's your B, there's your B. And you put a line on top of it, that line is called Zabar. This thing is called Zabar, right here. And you combine it with a Badi A, and now it looks like this B and a Badi A, and with a Zabar, and now it becomes B, B, but instead of one of these, we have to put two of these. And again, don't confuse that with Oki Matra. Here's your B, you take a wow, you put a Zabar on it. And it becomes bo, and that would have that would have a stick next to it here, and these two symbols will go on top of that. That's the body oki matra. This is body eki matra. As you can see the difference, and in Hindi also. Well, so somebody who's here to learn Hindi, uh, it can get quite confusing because they look exactly the same, except it has one additional stick next to it, one additional stick, and the symbols go on that, and not on the letter. Here also there is a stick here and the symbol goes on that. Let's begin. And similarly you may that's how we will make a pay and a te and so on and so forth. Let's let's begin. Let's try some words. We'll do in pairs as we have been doing. Uh, first the choti eki matra and then the badi eki matra so we can contrast them. Here's the first one.
Po. Po. And again, I'm calling this letter Po, even though the name of this letter in Urdu is Pe. Let's call it Po. Because when we combine with a Ye, Badi Ye, it becomes a Pe. Pe. And then a Ro. Pe. So this is our Choti Eki Matra. These two ones. So in Urdu, in Hindi, you will take a Pe. Po. That makes a Pe. And a Ro. Pe. Now we have to figure out how to join them. And as we have learned before many times, whether it is Choti Ye, whether it is Choti Ye or Badi Ye, when they come in the middle of the world, it takes this shape. It takes a semicircle and a dot, two dots. So that's what we have to do. We have to take our Po and a Badi Ye. This is a Badi Ye. That makes it Pe. And then you put a Re Pe. What do you suppose Pe is? I hope you know. Pear is a tree, or to be more precise, it's a sapling, a small tree, very tiny tree. It's, in English it's called sapling. A plant that is just starting out, sapling, pear. It's not actually a tree because tree would be dark, uh, dark, we call it in Urdu. Let's do one with a badi ki matra. Again, pe and a badi that makes it eki matra, it has a zabar on top of it. So that's a buddy. Eh? So here's your pe, and we need two of them now. Pe, and then dal, and alif. This letter is called dal. They start the, the, and then aki matra. So this one has two matras, buddy eki matra, and aki matra. And it gives you Peda, peda as in to be born, peda or no? Peda as in to, to be to be born. Let's put them together. Pa, Badiye, and a dal and alif, and don't forget the zabar. The zabar, the zabar is what makes it a Badiye ki matra, and that's what, that was called for the second one. Peda. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. Ah, the one, Badiye Ki Matra. We won't have to erase too much stuff. Just do one more. Take out the Aki Matra and put another letter. L, Lam. Lam. So, Aki Matra goes away and put a Lam there. Ah, sorry, L there. And now we have a new word. Pedal. Pedal means to go on foot. Pedal jaya. Gadi kharaab ho gai hai. Gadi ni chal rahi. To mudhe the car wasn't working, so I had to go on foot. I pedal. But as you can see, whether it was peda or pedal, the A sound is longer. This is pair, pair, pedal. You see the difference? Pair, pedal. It has a longer sound, longer A in it. Let's do one more. We don't need any of this. Let's first do, let's first do Badi Eki Matra because the word that we have to write in Choti Eki Matra has a little complication so I don't want to do that first. Let's do first. So here's your meme. This, is, this letter is called meme. Meme is going to join the Badi Eki and the meme has a zavar on it. That All of that makes me. All of that that you see there, all of that is this. Me. Two of them. Me. And then Lam and Alif. Lam and Alif. That makes it Mela. What do you suppose Mela means? Mela means something that is dirty, something that is filthy, disgusting, grimy. Uh, mela. You can also have the word called Mela. Let's first finish this up. So that one is done. Let's combine them here. So here's your meme. So it starts from the top and goes at the bottom, but when it's about to join, it starts from the bottom. Then your body here, and then a la. And don't forget the zabar. Mela. Instead of a mela, instead of a mela, you can have a word without the aki matra. And that makes male. Male and mela are similar words, that's the related word. Male means Mela means dirty. It just means dirty. Male means grime, dirt, filth. Male. Let's contrast this word with this word. 
बिते छोटी एक ही मात्रा मे as you can see it only has one it only has one so that's me and then la so i'm going to we can say mela and mela 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 this mela means dirt filth what do you suppose this mela is to go to mela to go to a mela that's a carnival is a fair mela and mela Let's try it in Urdu, shall we? Here's our meme. Then a body, eh? Not much difference. Very similar to this one. And you might think that the only difference here would be that. Let's let's go back to Mela here, so we we can compare the two. You would think that the only difference is that this one takes a zebra and this one does not, because that's how we write in Hindi. But we have to pause here for a second. Every language, not just Urdu, every language has has its idiosyncrasies, oddities, ex eccentricities. In other words, sometimes it behaves a given language. Sometimes it behaves in a very odd manner, very strange manner. And this is one of those instances where sometimes, not always, sometimes, when something that ends in aki matra in Hindi, instead of writing alif, we have to write it like this. I have to pick this up to make sure I write it properly. Mela, let me first write it, then I'll explain it. So here's your l, and it goes like this, and that's a h. That's actually a h, but it's not mela h. It's still pronounced mela. It's still pronounced as aki matra, but for some strange and inexplicable reason, the correct spelling requires that instead of putting an alif, we put a he. Mela. That's a carnival. This mela means dirty. Do you understand? Let's do one more on the top. On day number seventeen, when we started this eki matra, on day number seventeen, when we started eki matra, it, and it was not by design. I did not do it on pur on purpose, but it just works out that the very first word that I thought of. To compare it with the Bari Eki Matra, the, and the first word that we that, that we wrote in the Bari Eki Matra. Oh, sorry. We knew, we need a Bari Eki Matra right now, not for the Eki Matra, but that's okay. It will still make the point. Let's erase all these things so we can compare the two. The very first word we wrote when we started the Eki Matra, the very first the word that we wrote with the Bari Eki Matra. Was this word? Pe sa. You know what pe sa means? Pe sa means money. Now you would think that pe sa would be written as pe ye. And here's your scene. And when it joins the body ye, oh sorry, when it joins the alif, it would simply be this is your scene and then alif. We have done it many a times. Pe sa with a zabar on it because it has two of them. Again, that spelling is wrong. This spelling is wrong. Pesa, pe, seen, and for some strange reason, it takes a h. That's how it's spelled. And there are quite a few words like that in Urdu language where the last sound, if it's an aki matra, for some reason, well, not I, I shouldn't say there are too many of them, but there are there are some where when it ends in aki matra, for some reason, for some strange and inexplicable reason, it. Correct spelling requires a h, not a a. Uh. Pesa. This is mela, but as you can see, in mela it goes very quickly. Mela, and this is pesa. Let's do one more. I have to go back to my right page on day number nineteen. Okay, so we did all of that. Let's do one more with choti ekhi matra. Kaf and the body here. That's going to make it K. So far, so so far, so good. This is very simple. And then La. K La. Kaf, body here, and then La. You know what K La is? K La is the banana. K La. Now let's compare this word with the next word we're going to write, which is. Let me first write it in Hindi. 
I want to write it in Hindi because the letter that it requires to write the word that we are about to write, the letter that it requires does not exist in Urdu. So we have to improvise and we have done it many times, nothing new. Here we go. The letter is T. And if only I knew how to write it properly. I believe it goes something like this. Yeah, that's a T. T. And we don't need T, we need a T. Bariyaki matra, two of them, T. But how do we write T in Urdu? We don't have a letter for sound T. We do not have a letter for T. Just like if you want to write, make a sound of T in English, you put T and H, like Thailand. Same thing here. So we have to take a T and join with it a letter called Do Chashmi He. Do Chashmi He. And when we put them together, it makes a T. That's the only way we can write T. So we have your T, T and we need a T, so we need a Bari, a bari and we need a Zabar on top of it. So all of this has to join and then we have a La. Taylor. You see? Kela, Kela, the A key sound is very quick. Kela and Taylor. Let's put it together. We don't need this part anymore. So I have to erase this thing because we want to join body here to it. So this is how it looks. T and a year. T. Now this is how it would have looked if that would have been the end of the story. But because it is not the end of the story. There is some more story coming up here, some other parts coming up. It does not take this shape, it takes this shape. This is your third, this is your ye, body ye, te, and then la. With the zabar on. Don't forget the zabar. Tela. Tela and kela. Kela is very quick. A sound is very quick. Kela, tela. Let's do it up here. While we are at it, why don't we make one more word out of it? Instead of tela, tela is a masculine. If you, if you have a large, tela means a bag, a bag, which is a very large bag, but if it's a small bag or even a purse, you have to use feminine. And the feminine of tela is teli. Let's make a teli out of it, which is very simple. It's sort of a, it's sort of a, it's sort of a lam and, it's sort of a lam and alif is going to take lam and chotiya. Lam and chotiya. Lam and chotiya. But the lam has to join the wa chotiye, we'll do that in a second, and it becomes teli. So this particular one has a badi eki matra and badi iki matra. Te li. Let's put them together. This part is already done. We just have to combine the l with the lam with the chotiye, and it's going to look like this when it joins. It's not going to go all the way down. It's not going to go all the way down. It's going to go up to here, and then voila. There we go. Except when we are writing Urdu, when we finish the word, we don't usually say Vala. Teli. Teli. Kela. Kela. A is very sound, very quick. Teli. Or Tela. A is longer. Let's do one more. Let's do it here. No, let's do it on the top. I changed my mind. I changed my mind and you will see the reason in a second. There is a meme and a bariya that makes it me. We are doing choti eki matra, which is why we don't have a zav around it. Me and then a z, z. This is this letter is called z. Mees. Again, one more time. The writer has to know. In Hindi, it's very straightforward. It's just z. In Urdu, the writer has to know which one of these four z it's going to be. It calls for in order for the spelling to be correct, correct, considered correct. We have a, this is called Zal, this comes after a letter Dal, Dal, Zal, this comes after a letter Re, Re, Ze, this comes after a letter Swat, Swat, Zwat, this comes, off, comes, off, comes after a letter called Toin, Toin is right there. We learned it on day number nine, Toin is called Toin, Toin, Zoin. Whether it takes a Zal or a Ze or Zwat or a Zoin, the writer has to know. And in this case, it requires Z, re, z, mes. Let's put them together. So that's me and mes. Do you have any idea what mes means? Mes means stable. Table. 
let's combine let's let's compare this word not combine rather let's compare this word with a word with a badi ki matra so that we can see the difference in sound me as opposed to may me and me the sounds will only become more noticeable when you actually say the word which just by itself is very difficult so here we go so here we have a me with a zabar on it and a badi that's going to make it a me me ye badi me and that's this part with two of them me then we have a aki matra with a dal that makes a da me da and then we have a noon medan you know what medan is medan is a field medan medan mein khelte hain we go and play in the field like a hockey field or cricket field it's called medan medan let's put them together dal alif and noon that's how it goes medan let me do it free hand now medan that's how it looks like medan but compare the sound medan is supposed to maze in maze the a is very quick medan maze while we are at, while we are at it while we are at maze this make another word out of this word maze let's do one more word out of it we can add something to it we can add something to it instead of maze which means table let's add ba and a no i left no room here for let's do it on the bottom here so we have a maze here maze and we can add ba b b and alif ba and then a nu that's all the word mezban and it comes from mez the root of mezban is mez do you know what it means mezban i don't think it's a hindi word it's a very much a urdu word it means host when you go to somebody's house as a guest the host is your mezban because he takes care of the table for you to eat the food is on the table and he is in charge of the setting up the table for you giving you the food he is called mezban the one who takes charge of the table mezban there we go let's learn let's make one more one more word out of it instead of mezban if you were to add choti to it now it becomes a badi ki matra it becomes a badi ki matra it becomes mezbani mezbani no longer means host mezbani is actually the act mezbani is actually the act of being a host and in english you will say hospitality mezbani aapki badi mehrbani aapki aapki mezbani ki aapki mezbani ki mein i can't i can't uh mezbani that's what it means hospitality हमने आपको बड़ा आ, बड़ा मजा आया था आपकी मेजबानी से आई एंजॉय योर हॉस्पिटल हॉस्पिटैलिटी क्वालिटी क्वाइट बेट मेजबानी लेट्स पुट देम टुगेदर सो दिस इज वेरी स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड मी ओ राइट हियर मेजबानी लेट्स पुट देम टुगेदर देयर इज नॉट मच टू देयर इज नॉट मच टू पुट टुगेदर व्हाट्स गोइंग टू हैपन इज दैट व्हाट्स गोइंग टू हैपन इज दैट दिस मून इज गोइंग टू गेट अप एंड इट्स गोइंग टू मूव अप अ लिटिल बिट एंड व्हेन ही मूव्स अप अ लिटिल बिट ही बिकम्स अ लिटिल स्मॉलर देयर वी गो and of course they'll be closer to each other miss bani this this right here miss ba ni sometimes you will see ni like this and sometimes you will see it like this it's the same thing it's the same thing you understand so this part there that part and that that's a noon miss bani let's continue Let's write write one more word with the badi ki matra. Actually, I have two words left, and they are not actually two words, the same words with the the different gender, and that's the last word I have here. Noon and a ye with a zabar. That's going to make it ne. Again, because it has a zabar, it requires second one me. ne i should have done it now it looks ugly ne and then na ne na you know what ne na means ne na is a very formal way of saying eyes 
eyes. You hear it mostly in the poetry, in the works of literature, in ghazals and kawalis. Uh, you hear nena. They don't in the kawalis and ghazals. They don't say aak or akhe. They say nena. Tari nena se mujhe pyar hai. I love your eyes. Nena. And in this case, it is a feminine. This is a feminine. No, badi ye. It is a bird. Ne, na. If you're talking about the eyes of a guy, then apparently it is simply name. But very rarely you will hear this in the poetry or ghazals of Kawali name. Because usually it's the guy yapping around about the girl and he's talking about his he's talking about her Nena. Do you understand? That was it. That, that's all I have for today. We'll meet again tomorrow. We'll do the last part, day number 20, with a few more words. And that will be the end of Eki Matra. I'm looking at the words that I have for tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.